Hey guys, Mr. Quigglis here. This is the most common question that I get. How do I clean my Puffco and how do I do it fast? If you go to the Puffco site, if you look at the Puffco instructions, it's terrifying. It makes it look like that if you try to clean your Puffco, you're going to break it. And I'm just going to show you real quickly how to do this really fast. I've heated up some, I've some alcohol into a, into a mason. I'm going to heat this up. You can see I've got a timer set here so you can see the full time lapse. And we're going to go ahead and heat that alcohol up. We're getting the atomizer hot now. Make sure this gets a little bit warm before I take it apart. I went ahead and dumped the water out of this a second ago. It still has water in it, so I'm going to do a couple of steps in between. I have heat. We got heat. First of all, I've got to make sure this thing is warm. When I had alcohol that uh, mic the uh, microwave, the alcohol, excuse me, I said alcohol, the microwave. And I pull all this crap off of here, take out the insert, a little hot. It tells you not to do all this stuff. Make sure you do this and do that. Don't worry about it. Take the fucking insert out. Don't worry about it. Uh, pull this puppy out of here while it's still warm. You got your microwaved alcohol. It's already been boiling. Go ahead and drop your atomizer in. Swish it around. Don't worry about it. You can throw your other parts in there while you're at it if you want to. Different little doodahs, throw them all in there. Grab a couple of Q-tips and uh, take this little glass off of here. I'm going to get some alcohol in this glass real quickly because it does have a bunch of water in it. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some alcohol in here. And I'm going to shake this puppy up really quickly just to get the water out of the inside of it. I'm going to dump it. That's going to get the water content off. I went ahead and dumped that. So leave that here. These are still rolling. Take some Q-tips in this hot alcohol. I'm going to get my base real quickly. Get inside. Get around the inside of the unit. No big deal. Just get it done real quick. Get this stuff out of here. Get the goo out. Uh, don't worry about how much alcohol is on the thing. Just go for it. You know, you don't want to flood it, obviously. But you can go ahead and get, get in there and get it all clean. Get in between there and the gap. Get that clean. Remember, we're just soaking the atomizer right now. Letting that thing get get going in the boiling water, or boiling alcohol we just did in the microwave. Get the body clean. And another Q-tip here. I'm gonna dip this one in the alcohol. Kind of squeeze it off a little bit. Get it inside the. Don't worry too much about the brass piece, but make sure you get that nice and clean. You get a lot of crap inside there. It's very important to keep that clean. But don't worry about getting too much alcohol or whatever. It's just alcohol. It's not going to hurt it. I do this constantly. This is a couple every couple of days. I do this whole process here. But I've got down pretty fast. You can see we've only got a minute or two in, three minutes or so into this process, and we're already pretty well cleaned up, clean enough for continued operation. That's for sure. So this is the base clean. That's pretty well done. I'm going to get a little bit more inside the. A little crack here and we're gonna dry it set it down it's pretty well done base is done atomizer let's take a look at that it's gonna be down here in a second switch this around we got our bubble cap that is clean I rinse this off with alcohol just to get the residual stuff off of there carb caps down the insert the little insert thing for the top normally at this point I separate it grab a q-tip and just run it around the outside a couple of times oops dropped it just run the Q-tip around for a few times around the outside uh, just to get that groove cleaned out of there, which doesn't like to get out with the alcohol. No big deal. Takes a second. Remember, the atomizer is still soaking. Give it another another spin around there. And this looks pretty good, actually. I don't see anything residual on there. That's done. Took out the atomizer. Perfectly clean. No more oil residue anywhere on the atomizer. Bottom's clean. Inside's perfectly clean. It's done. Then put this back in the microwave for four minutes and 20 seconds. Remember, we just got this thing kind of washed out. There's alcohol in it. It's cold. Got a lot of residual stuff in there. And we're going to go ahead and boil that alcohol in the microwave again. Four minutes and 30 seconds. And drain this little guy out of here. Atomizer, like I said, is completely clean just for a second or two in alcohol. This is boiling. I'm going to put this in the boiling alcohol. Do a couple of swishes with that. Get that hot alcohol inside that uh, base. Get 
Just trying to get that stuff kind of loosened up for a second so when we go the next step it'll be even easier. Remember this is only going to take like five and a half minutes, maybe six minutes here all in. No, seven maybe. We're almost done with this step. This is a little bit risky. I don't recommend everybody do this, but I do microwave my entire insert, my entire glass piece right now for a second or two. Get it going, get it bubbling. And that really helps dislodge all that stuff out of the bottom. Gives you a nice quick clean. As you can see, that's clean. Then I go ahead and reverse that, dump a little bit into my top, finger over it, give it a couple of shakes. Oops, pressure did that. Dump it back out and you've got a clean top, a clean glass piece. Boop, there you go. Clean and a shiny. There we go guys, six minutes. We have cleaned a Puffco and I'll show you what happens afterwards. We got this base, it's hanging out, it's got some alcohol in it, no big deal. Got a couple of spare Q-tips, just want to get in there and give it a quick wipe, make sure we don't have any residual in there. Get around here on the base, get that residual alcohol out. And then uh, get in there with a little bit of force, wipe out that in interior piece. Make sure there's no Q-tip pieces left over or whatever. <sighs> then go ahead and reassemble the atomizer. Remember with these things, you got to be real careful you seat these properly. It's very easy for them to, uh, to be in properly seated and break. And we're going to heat this puppy up. There we go. Burning up real good. No worries. Alcohol is going to come right off. You can see the little element getting cleaned off there. There you go. Satisfactory. Clean base. I go ahead and take this another step farther and I take do another alcohol rinse on this to get the stickiness off. It's just going to give it so it's not very sticky. And uh, it's easier to keep it clean if you do a second alcohol rinse. And then I uh, go ahead and take these. Remember, this is already done. I go ahead and take this, oops, take this little guy and run it with some distilled water really quickly. And we are back in business with our Puffco totally clean. Under 10 minutes. 7 minutes, 30 seconds.